Recruiting for a college sport can be a difficult task, especially when most teams are now searching globally for athletes. Aaron Nelson now joins us on set. Aaron, you spoke with the men's volleyball team about their recruiting process. They really do have athletes from all around the world. Yeah, I did. And since volleyball is such an international sport, there are many good players to be found. Their resources are limited here in Utah with only a handful of men's teams, so they have to go elsewhere. The men's volleyball team is usually diverse, and this year's team is no different. Yeah, we want to go out and get the best players we can. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we have players from really all over the world. Men's volleyball is still in the grassroots here in Utah with only a handful of high schools that actually have teams. One main difference is you can play year-round in California. And, you know, I got my start on the beach. It has a little deeper roots in California. We're getting some excellent players here in, in Utah. It's kind of a girls' sport in Utah, so you don't get much. Um, not too many coaches come out and recruit you. You have to go to California. That's where all the big um, scouts are. And I got lucky here because my assistant coach of my club team actually played at BYU and got a hold of Sean Patchell. So that's kind of how my recruiting process started. The honor code is specific to BYU and demands a little more from the student athletes policies that include abstinence and avoiding alcohol. From day one, we uh, recruit with the honor code. We talk about the honor code. I think it's a great recruiting tool. Being a church school creates a global community and a foundation for coaches when they go recruiting nationally and internationally. A lot of, a lot of players are, uh, they like our program. So we, got a, we get a lot of video. I get probably six videos a week from players abroad. The internet has played an integral part for the coaching staff and players around the world. With YouTube, it's pretty easy to see video. And you know, it, it's, you know, it's not, they don't even have to mail anything. They just put it on YouTube and I get to see uh, some good video of, uh, of some play. Patchell found Yamil Perez at a high school tournament in Puerto Rico and later followed up while at the Junior Olympics. Well, actually, I, I had no idea of coming to the state to play. Uh, I didn't know if I had the level to play in here because, I, I mean, here is pretty intense. So, uh, so originally, I was going to stay in Puerto Rico and stay for a university there. But as soon as that letter came, I thought, hmm, this may be a good chance. Both players are happy about their decision to come to BYU. The people here are so kind uh, and they have helped me so much, especially coaches. I have improved not only as a player but as a person too. So I've developed my... Uh, my game, my setting, and as well as a good person I've become, so I'm glad I came here. Yeah, I signed my letter of intent really early. I didn't want to come anywhere um, but BYU. I kind of, I would have came no matter what, but it would have been fun just to uh, interact with other coaches, I guess. But I live 30 minutes away, and even if they offered me full tuition, I would have came here. The men's volleyball team has a history of stellar international and U.S. born athletes. Yeah, it's obvious that their broad recruiting has really translated to on-court success. Thanks, Aaron.